So I'm Miller, bought a hole here on another one of my 10,000 calorie walks, not 10,000 calorie walks, <laughs> 10,000 steps walks. If someone tells you you can burn 10,000 calories in a walk, never trust them again. It's, it, it's not true, it's absolutely crazy. So I'm just walking past some weird clothes that you'll see in the background in a minute. If I just show you. I thought it was a person at first, it's not a person. I was a bit worried, I was like, I need to help this person. Anyway, uh, what I want to talk about today is a couple of things. Uh, firstly, thank you to everyone that was so nice when I mentioned that I had to take some time off the gym because I had to have surgery round two. I won't get into it again because we've talked about it. And we are now coming up to the hopeful return. I'll let you in on more secrets. Not a secret, I just didn't want to make a video about it because I thought I've talked about this enough. It was not a decent recovery <laughs> given that the surgery was meant to be quite simple and we went through some... What's the word we're looking for? Complication, I suppose. I don't want to say that because that makes it sound like it was, oh no, it was not anything like that. And there was no panic buttons being pushed, but you know, there was a few incidents which meant I wasn't able to keep my calories up, etc. So I lost way much, well, way too much, not way too much weight, but way, well, more weight than I wanted to is what I'm trying to say. I mean, you never really know how your body's going to adapt and respond to these kind of a things. But yes, I thought, well, I can probably try and not retain that well you can retain muscle after you know four weeks of not lifting weights but it was one of those situations where for two weeks I couldn't do anything because I had a big gaping wound <laughs> in me and that was probably be a really big idea but the point is in now is this because I have come out the other side in probably worse shape than I was expecting is what I will say and not because I've been eating excessively or, or anything like that, just I lost way too much muscle. It's more muscle than, well, who wants to lose any muscle? But you take my point. I realized that the gym, going back to the gym, is gonna be way harder than I ever thought that it would be. Now, of course, muscle memory is a thing. If you don't know what muscle memory is, essentially, once you've built a certain physique, if you can't go for a gym for a while or something happens, you have to take some time off. Nine times out of 10, because there's always gonna be that one out of 10, you're going to get back in that shape quicker than you did before because your body and your brain are incredible and they remember what you went through. They go, oh, he's doing this again or she's doing this again. Let's speed up the process. So I thought it was mostly going to be something like that, but actually, I'm kind of going to have to <laughs> sort of completely change what my plan was because I probably need to lose some fat. I also need to put my muscle back on and that will happen quicker than it would have done otherwise. But that wasn't what I was intending at all. And I realized, man, I'm a little bit freaked out about going back to the gym. Not about what other people think. I mean, I'm sure they'll see me and go, oh, what happened to that guy? But screw it, who cares, man? You never have to worry about what other people think about the gym or in any walks of life, because if you do, it's just gonna drive you crazy. And you should only ever be in competition with yourself. But I thought this tied into what's happening to a lot of people. That dog just tried to attack me. I'm scared of dogs. Different video for a different day. But my point being, I think this ties in to what a lot of people are going through at the moment, January January when well if your gyms are still open at the moment people sign up they have good intentions and they want to get in shape and yeah sure a lot of people give up because they haven't got a plan they don't know what they're doing or they just hate it and they forget they should go out and find something they love but another reason is because people sign up again they're feeling good they wake up on the 1st of January oh man you know I ate to excess over Christmas so now it's time to get in shape but then the actual act of going to the gym it really freaks them out now mine is different like I say, I think most people that are intimidated by the gym are the other people in the gym. I couldn't give a flub. <laughs> I'm not saying that like I'm some cool dude, like, oh, here comes Simon Miller, but there's just no point for all the things we've just talked about. But it's the same kind of feeling. Like, I can empathize and I can sympathize with that kind of a thing. So I thought, I just want to talk about it and go to show that even someone who has been going to the gym for, well, 20 years or whatever the hell it would be, situations can arise where you don't feel comfortable there. And the gym, the fitness palace of love, as I call it, is my favorite place in the world. I have missed it terribly over these last few weeks because, you know, sounds so cheesy, but I'm sure you'll get it. It's my safe space. And when I'm in there, I'm not really worrying about any problems. And, you know, just going back to what we said a minute ago, I enjoy it. And you don't want to lose things that you enjoy in this life because life's too short to begin with. But I absolutely do feel that way, deep down in my tum-tum. People get so mad when I say tum-tum not realizing the deliberate irony of it, but once more, we won't get into that right here. So if you are going through something similar, hopefully knowing that pretty much everyone is going through it, hope maybe it gives you the confidence to kind of storm into that gym and get yourself in shape. And if there is one person that gives you grief when you arrive, they're the asshole. And everybody else in that gym thinks they're the, they're the asshole as well, because he wasn't born in the gym, or she, you never know. They weren't born in the gym. And if they were, what the flip is going on in their life? If anything, they should be 
more <laughs> close to the gym. So they should understand everybody has to start somewhere, be it, you know, you're a really thin guy or you weigh 30 stone and you need to, you need to drop some weight. Nobody should be stopping you from well, enjoying fitness because fitness is for everybody and anybody that's trying to work against that has never worked that out and they don't deserve our time, they don't deserve our attention and they certainly don't deserve stopping you from achieving your goals. But even then, you can go to the gym, like I say, for an extended period of time and still wind up in a place where you're like, oh man, I gotta go back to the gym. And I suppose, you know, even before all of this, I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing. I wouldn't say I'd lost my way a bit, but I was kind of just maintaining, I suppose. And I did want to put on a bit of muscle, but now I'm like, well, we can sort of try and put the muscle back on that we've lost, but I ain't happy with my, <laughs> I don't want to call it a gut, I don't want to be too exaggerated gator here, but yeah, like when I look in the mirror at the moment, it's just not what I want to see. Again, not to a depressed state, I don't want to go, oh Miller, don't worry about it. I don't mean like that, I mean, I care about it in the way that you should care about it, you know. You always have to have lines to this kind of the stuff. But yeah, it did dawn on me that it's not going to be as easy, I suppose, as I first thought it was. I was sat there and I was trying to come up with a new plan. I was trying to come up with a diet. I'm like, well, what am I exactly going to achieve right now? And I suppose this also connects to how some other people feel. You walk into the gym aimlessly or you start a new fitness plan aimlessly. And this is what you do. Like, you wouldn't go into a meet. You wouldn't just get up on a Monday at work and go, we're having a meeting now. People would be like, well, we're not <laughs> because I'm busy. I've got stuff to do. You plan it in. You say Wednesday at 2 p.m. And that's what you should always do with your gym as well. Decide what is it that you're trying to achieve. And I know you probably want to be super jacked, but if you need to lose the fat first, focus on losing that fat first. I'm not talking about people that want to sort of put on a little bit of muscle while also losing a bit of fat. I'm talking about when you have a serious goal that you need to prioritize. So just do it, say, okay, I'm gonna lean up, then I'm gonna put on the muscle. Maybe vice versa, maybe, you know, you, you have abs, but you're not happy with your jackness, okay, now's the time to put on muscle. And there's loads of ways to do that. We've done videos, loads of people have done videos on it. But if you're just magically trying to come up with an idea, especially when you go into the gym, you won't do anything. And that's nine times out of 10, I don't know why I keep doing ratios like this, but that's when you see people jumping from machine to machine and they're working legs and then they're working triceps. You're like, I have no idea what you're doing. And that's because they have no idea what they're doing. They've just gone to a gym. They've seen some machines and they thought to themselves, well, why don't I do this? And that doesn't work here. It doesn't work at work. It doesn't really work on anything that you do. You just kind of find yourself floating through life and that's not what you want. So of course I'll figure it out and I've bought a bunch of, um, well, I suppose reputable people's plans to give them a go. We did the Ryan Hermston one. I bought his push pull legs program, which I'll review. I have some Athlean X ones and I have some Jeff Nippard ones and a bunch of others because I really enjoyed doing that last video. But I don't want to throw myself back into doing them until I'm back to where I think is appropriate because also I don't think I'll get as much out of it, right? I want to get back to zero and then start adding on it. But we are on the cusp of it. I'll probably vlog me returning to the gym because why the hell not on the doms <laughs> will be absolutely atrocious, especially when I do legs, but I quite like that. I mean, doms don't really mean anything. They're a good signifier that something has happened, but it doesn't mean you've trained your muscles in the right way or that you desperately need them. But I'll be walking around like this for a while and people will be looking at me like, why have you become a puppet? But secretly I'll be really pleased and secretly I'll be really proud. But yeah, that's the truth. I'm quite scared and quite terrified about going back because I know it's going to be a far longer road than I was first expecting. But the good thing is that it's the best road, the best road ever. I don't, I, as the last four weeks have shown me, without the gym, I don't know what I would be as a human being. I'd definitely be a sad panda. So again, if you are worried about going to the gym for the first time, know, you know that feeling you have is not exclusive to you. So eventually bite the bullet and do it anyway. And if you're like me too, and at the moment you find yourself between a rock and a hard place, well, you've got to sort it out somewhere, right? Take every day as it comes, start at day one, day two, day three, in a few weeks, a few months down the line, you'll be back to where you were, and then you can start kicking ass. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell ding ding, so you know other videos are going live, there is another video on the screen, hopefully, if I remember to do it, give it a click. Uh, talk about supplements that I will be using, Gorilla Mind dot com forward slash simon get 10 percent off there's a link in the description as there is for greg Doucette's power 13 cookbook which i also will be using because again we need to we need to get some diet going and it's nice to eat nice things right especially healthy nice things what else do you do patreon.com for the simon 316 if you want to support me that way 
I've got cameo, I've got merchandise, it's all in the description below. It's hard to do this when we're walking around. And I, I will pimp out my wrestling podcast here as well, now that I've got back into a flow with it. If you want to hear me talking about wrestling, you can. Simon Miller's Pro Wrestling Podcast. Took me all of eight seconds to come up with that name. I'm a very clever man, but thank you for joining me. Take care of yourself. I'll vlog my comeback as well. That's something we can do, so we can see where we get to, and then go back to this video to see if I was talking absolute crap. See you soon.